From Row MMA here at Cage Warriors 57, Liverpool, the Echo Arena. We're with uh, commiserations on the result. We're with Leroy Barnes. First thing I have to say, and you can correct me if, if I'm wrong, despite the result, that that's the best Leroy we've seen. Uh, it, it, certainly the way you started, you're, you're striking. How, how do you, other than the result, what, what positives are you taken out of this fight? I, I, to be honest, that, that almost... Feel, the only bad thing about that is the actual it's going to go down as a loss. It feels like a win to me. When when he took me down, he, he was quite strong, but he was so unbelievably slippy. I couldn't hip out. I couldn't stand up. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't hold on to his arms. He was so slippy. It was unbelievable. He didn't hit me. Watch the fight back, man. He, he did not hit me from top. I hit him more off my back than he hit me from the top. He seemed incredibly surprised by not only your speed, but your power. Did, were you kind of dreading the fact that, and I hate using this term, but he, he looked a little bit like he was going to lay and pray. Were you dreading that? No, not really. I, I, I wish he'd have done less work on the floor because he'd have stood up. Like To be honest, I got a bit blasé on, on my back. I was on my back and I was thinking, the judges will be seeing this. He's not hitting me. So, you know, he's, he's not doing damage, he's doing nothing. He didn't even really get the takedown many times. I dropped for the guillotine. guillotine. Yeah. So I had it standing. He was very clever. When, 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 he, when I was dropping for it, he was sort of bouncing his shoulder in and it was creating space. He was getting his chin in. So I couldn't get it. I was going for a neck crank, but if you'd seen the size of the head on the guy, I've mean, got no chance. You know, he's 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 no one praise. He's a tough guy. I've watched all his fights. He's great. It was it was an honour to fight him. But you know, I, I I feel like I was the better fighter in that fight. He might have got the one win, but whatever. Uh, well, judges aren't going to thank me because I'm 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 not a judge. Although I'd like to pretend I am sometimes. There's yeah. no way that was 30-27. Yeah, not a yeah, snowball's yeah, hope in Hades. Look at my face. Not a, he's got cuts all over him. He's a, he's a mess. I knocked him down twice. You know, there were some there were some people out there doubting me. Or Barnes saying ah, he's a he's a lamb being led to the lions Perseus he's, he's fought you know Chris Fields blah 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 uh, you know if this performance hasn't disproved that what is it going to take and what do you have to say to those people that doubted whether or not you, you should be there fucking mate I don't, you know what I mean I don't, I don't give a fuck about them I know what I can do right that's he's one of the top guys in Europe he's known Perseus fought Fields fought Jack Mason he's been in Bellator he's been in the ultimate fight he's fought fucking I've just done three rounds with him punched him all over me you know what I mean I've not got a mark on my face. <laughs> So what, whatever, mate. I'm pissed off that yeah. it's going down as a loss, but I feel like I was the better fighter. And people haven't even seen half of me, mate. If he, if he wasn't so fucking slippy, you know, that would have been different. Like, my jiu-jitsu's good. Yeah. I just couldn't work it. And because he wasn't hitting me, I was sort of lying there a bit, and I was thinking, he's not hitting me. I'm not taking any damage. But I was I was scared to try hit bumps. Try Like, I went for a triangle and arm bar twice, but he was so slippy. I was thinking, if I fuck this up and end up on my knees, he'll take my back. Yeah, I didn't want to risk it. And so. it's, all, it's not often you see a referee tile a guy down in between rounds and that he happened between the first and yeah, the second unbelievably so. slippery. he got warned as well he was grabbing my throat to try and choke me and he head butted me a couple of times <laughs> but and I've, I've heard that and to be honest like a fight's a fight isn't it like if you know if they were getting you know whatever I don't I don't really care about that stuff it didn't bother me too much but <laughs> if I, you know I mean it's, it's a fight so two more quick questions one yeah. you came in well underweight this time I mean 180 it was that yeah. was that was that just overzealous weight cutter did you plan on again were you looking at for your speed and and, and that no like I, I've been dropping muscle mass anyway but on my scales I was uh, 185 so I come and check my weight on their scales. I was 182, I was thinking, oh my God, my scales are heavy. I'd cut extra weight that morning, so I was over, I was thinking, I could have had breakfast, do you know what I mean? I, I didn't have to do that salt bath. And I was, I was a bit annoyed, but I'd rather be under than over, but then, because it was so hot yesterday, by the time I actually got to the weight-in, I was 180.9, but he was a, he was a big guy, but I'm, I'm not bothered, man. Did, did, you, did, did you feel any adverse effects from that weight cut, or you, you felt fine? No, not at all, I've got my weight, my weight cutting perfect. I, I diet down right, and. I, I, die, I do it over a longer period and you know I only cut six six key when I was at welterweight I was doing fucking 10 12 key sometimes a day before so but, uh, people ain't gonna fi aren't gonna thank me for this and I don't know if you will either but you know Jack Mason was on the the end of a you know he, he lost his fight as well yeah. that seems like a really good freaking fight to me what he's a welterweight isn't he? yeah so you know if if he, I, I, 180 I can't, I can't get i can't get down to welterweight like i wouldn't have been able to do any, any more than i, <laughs> okay. than I did yesterday <laughs> but like do you see how lean, lean yeah. i am you know I, I couldn't i couldn't cut any more water and i don't think i can get any leaner i don't want to lose any more muscle mass i think i'm just the right sort of like sort of size and strength so how long before we can expect to see you in that cage again? Because I 
can tell you, 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 you'd you get in there tomorrow if yeah, they'd let I could you get in there now mate I'm not, I don't even feel like I've been in the fight I'm fit I wasn't even out of breath I'm not a mark on me as soon as Graham Boylan wants to put me back in then I'm back in because the, the guy's a legend he's given me a big chance five fights all the staff here are great can, can I just thank my manager yeah, as well Chris, give you a uh, Chris, Chris Fig from Elite M Agency believes me I'm just sorry I couldn't get him the win tonight man but, uh, I, I'm going to ask a question I ask everybody at the end of the fight you know if you've got sponsors you want to thank if you've got training partners family you want to thank please feel yeah free. just all, all my sponsors Sponsors. If you have a look on my shorts, go on my website, my Facebook, Twitter, something. I've looked, there's too many, I'll forget some. Um, Next Generation, Paul Rimmer, Danny Roberts. I, I sparred and trained with them guys for this fight. Danny Wivington did my corner. Great, great team, helped me out loads. Um, fucking hell. Uh, what? Oh, fucking hell. The boxing guys, I've been fucking working with Sharp Style, Jim Blackpool, Dave helped me out a lot. Adam Little, Ricky Hatton at Hatton's Gym, they helped me out. Paul Rice, Enigma Jiu Jitsu, they helped me out. I've, I've moved around a few gyms and trained with a few different people this time, you know, changed things up and it's done all right. Man. That was a good performance. I, you know, I thought I was the better fighter. So uh, Commiserations on the result, but what a fantastic fight and we look forward to seeing you fight again. Thank you, Leroy. No.